All right, guys, what's up? Hey, how are you doing today? So I'm going to talk to you guys about something that happened here in Colombia and Bogota not too long ago, like a week ago or so. And I only came to know about this because I did a live stream the other day and a few of you guys on the live stream told me about it. And it's about a guy from Wisconsin, Colum Wisconsin, United States, Wisconsin, not Colombia, from, Uni from Wisconsin, who murdered his or sus allegedly murdered his girlfriend here in Colombia. The girlfriend is a, uh, was a was a DJ, a very popular DJ here in Bogota, Colombia. And the guy was from the States. Okay. And I said allegedly because you know you're you're only guilty, guilty until you're proven, you're, whatever. You're innocent until you're proven guilty. But the 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 evidence is against them. The evidence is uh, really against the the guy. So let's let's talk about. It. Let me show you guys first who I'm talking about, real quick. So let me get here real quick. So this is the guy that I'm that I'm that we're talking about today. So this is. Um, John Pulos. Look at the picture on the right. This is him with his family, uh, three children, and his, I guess, his ex-wife because they divorced in 2021. But if you look at him, look, look at this dude. You don't suspect anything from him. He looks like a just a clean-cut guy from Middle America. You know, polo shirt tucked in, white shirt underneath, uh, khakis pants, going to going to church. You wouldn't be afraid of this guy if you meet him in the back alley. Okay. And that's what a lot of people thought when they when they met him, like Valentina's mom and the brothers and everybody. They they said that he seemed like a good guy, honest, you know, trustworthy. And this him on the left with Valentina right here, uh, dressing a little bit different in Colombia. You can tell by the buildings. And uh, here's here's Valentina. Let me show you guys another. Let's see if I can show you guys some more pictures of of him, of the situation. Here's Valentina right here. Very beautiful girl. Bogota, Colombia, and here's John arrested. Okay, so what happened? Uh, other so many sources talked about when I when I um when I was watching online on YouTube, especially the videos in Spanish about about the situation where they met online, a long distance relationship. They met on a online dating app, that kind of stuff. And I can't click. Why is why isn't it clicking? online dating app and he was you know sending sending money to her and, and supporting her and then coming here to colombia and um visiting her that kind of stuff but he was also the joe's type he had suspicions that he that she wasn't being faithful so what did he do he hired a private investigator in bogota to follow her while he was in the states the private investigator followed her it then ended up that valentina she travels around colombia doing djing and she had an event in, Col in cartagena that she went to and she invited a guy with her, okay? And um, the guy went, and the investigator followed, took videos, took photos. And from various sources, this was his, her other partner, her other lover in Colombia, from the sources I, I was researching on online. And then, obviously, the investigator sent the evidence to John, showing that she wasn't being faithful. He flew to Colombia. They had an argument. And... The last time they were seen together was in a club in Bogota when she had an event at three o'clock in the morning. And then they went back to John's place that he rented a hotel, like a, a Parto Hotel, which is kind of like a hotel you can stay long term with a kitchenette, but he only rented for three days. He rented a car from the airport as well. And let me show you guys. Actually, no, before I show you the, the, the video. So he rented, and there are some videos. There's other videos of showing where Valentina and John enter into the, into their room in the hotel. You see that Valentina has a, a suitcase with her and a, and a bag, like a duffel bag, with her going into the hotel. And then John has his two suitcases and I, I guess a backpack, whatever, coming into the room. The next video you see is him leaving the hotel room by himself without Valentina, but he's leaving with her stuff. So he takes her suitcase and all her stuff and puts in the car, comes back, and then more stuff goes to the car, comes back, and then comes back with um for the last suitcase, a big suitcase, a blue suitcase with a blanket over it. And I'm gonna show you guys a video real quick of him putting this suitcase in the trunk. All right. So putting this suitcase, it's right here. Here it is. Let's play it. Watch this. So this is the blue suitcase with the the blanket over the over the top, 
And this John, when when in the other videos, you guys are gonna look at him up on on uh, on YouTube. It, he wasn't struggling to move the 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 suitcase when he entered the room with Valentina. But look at that blanket on top of the suitcase, and then look how he struggles to pick it up. Like he's getting his full body behind that. All right. Trying to get it in order. And he's not panicked either. He's not looking around like he's he just doing it nonchalant, no big deal, putting it into the back of the trunk, getting it organized. And this video doesn't show it, but after he puts it in, he goes over here. There's another video where he actually goes over here. I think gets like a bottle of water, comes back, just casually walking, you know, no big deal and everything. So <laughs> when there's when he gets in the car, there's more videos, there's more surveillance because there's a lot of surveillance right here in Colombia uh, in the street cameras, that kind of stuff that catches his car driving down the road in a certain part of Bogota. And then also gets their surveillance of him parking his car and taking the suitcase out and walking into a dumpster and dumping it into a dumpster. Okay. The, like I said in the beginning, the evidence is against them. All right. Let me show you guys another because they, okay, the way they found, before I show you the next video, the way they found the body of Valentina, like the, the, the cadaver of the body was, they found her in the dumpster. So John allegedly, again, the proof is against him, but most likely thought, because he's from the States, from middle America, that if you dump a body in a dumpster in a suitcase and, and wrap it up, it's probably not going to get found anytime soon. Because not many people in the States, especially where he's probably from, do dumpster diving or digging through dumpsters. And maybe he's seen a movie or whatever, whatever. Uh, there could be a chance that he's done this before because if you, like I said in the beginning, when he was doing this, he wasn't panicking. He wasn't looking around. He wasn't nervous. He was nonchalant walking around, been doing this, doing that and carrying on his business. So I wouldn't be surprised if, if they found other situations or other evidence against him for other cases. Again, allegedly, allegedly, but in the States, not many people are going through dumpsters. But he doesn't know Colombia very well. He, like he didn't speak Spanish. Like, he doesn't speak Spanish. Like they were they were communicating through Google Translate, all that kind of stuff. You know, the uh, different story. But he, obviously, he didn't know Colombia very well because if you would know Colombia, people every day go through the dumpster. These are called the recyclers. There's these recycler recyclers who who walk around with these big old carts. They 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 collect everything to recycle and they stack it up. That's their job. That's how they make their money. So every day they're going through the dumpster to, to see what they can recycle. So that same day, because it's usually done in the morning, it looks like he, that was in the morning when he dumped it. So that same day, probably not too long after he dumped it, was found by a recycler. And the recycler called the cops, right? And the cops came and then they just started investigating and finding out. So what did, what did John do? John went straight to the airport and he bought a ticket to Panama, first class, okay, first class. Bought a first class ticket to Panama, and then in Panama, he bought two other tickets to two other destinations. One of the destination was to Istanbul, Turkey, and the other destination was to Brazil, to Sao Paulo, Brazil. He most likely was going to Istanbul, Istanbul Turkey, because in Istanbul, there's no, um, what's it called? You can't, you're, you're you, the United States or Colombia can't come and get you. There's no, what's the, what's the word when you, when you, I forget the word, but legally they can't touch you. It's kind of like in Venezuela too. If, if an American goes to Venezuela, the Venezuela government won't let the United States come in here and, and come to uh, Venezuela and take the person out. Same thing in Istanbul, Turkey or in Turkey, in Colombia, there, there's connection. So, if the United States, if a, if a criminal from from the United States is, tries to escape the states and come to Colombia, well, the the United States government will talk to the Colombian government and say, "Hey, look, well, there's this criminal in Colombia. We need to get him out. Can you go arrest him and then bring him to the airport? We'll get him from there and take him back to the states." That's the agreement they have with each other. So in Istanbul or in Turkey, they don't have that agreement with either United States or Colombia. Okay, so that's that's where he was going. He bought the ticket to São Paulo, Brazil. To kind of throw them off the tracks that's that's the suspicion okay luckily 
the recycler found it the same day and they, they moved on it. They went quick. They found out that he used, obviously used his passport to, to travel outside of Colombia. They found it in Panama. The Colombian officials called the Pan, Panamanian officials. Hey, there's this guy. He's he's in the airport. Can you can you get him? Can you hold him? And they arrested him right there in Panama. When he was arrested, he denied everything. He said, no, it wasn't me. It's the, it's the Medellin cartel. Okay. This all happened in Bogota. And he's blaming on the Medellin cartel who's here in Medellin. All right. Maybe watch too many narcos, you know, too much Netflix. I don't know. But, and I'm saying this because the evidence is against them. Let me show you guys another picture. Let me show you guys another picture that uh, we have here. One second. Let's find this picture. Here it is. So check out this picture of John. This is when he was arrested in Panama. This was probably the same day or whatever of, of the murder of, his, of Valentina. Check out this line right here on his face. That's a scratch. And usually he, you get scratched with that. If you're trying to kill someone, and the way that Valentina died was through uh, suffocation, through strangulation on the neck. And also her body was pretty beat up. All, over, like, all her body was bruised and beat up. And she was strangled to death. So right here, this scratch. There's evidence. Okay. And then the other evidence is obviously the videos and everything else that, that has against them as well. But he's blaming the, the Medellin cartel of what happened. So thank God. Thank God he got caught in Panama and got brought back to Colombia to get tried here in Colombia. And then if he's guilty... He's going to pay a high price. I believe the, the sentence will be 40 to 50 years in Colombia. There is no death sentence here in Colombia. You can't, you can't get sentenced to death here. Uh, I guess the end of the story is, you know, unfortunately this happened. Unfortunately, the guy uh, obviously wasn't, if he's guilty, he wasn't mentally stable. It, I feel so sorry for the family. And there's no reason why anybody should take a life of another person. I don't care if, if the person is being unfaithful or the person just being with you just to get money. Cause obviously, you know, he was sending her money. She was with another dude. That's the typical thing that I was warned about, you know, many people online and talking to them and, and, and sending money. And then most likely they're not really serious if they're asked for money right away, but there's no reason to take someone's life to do that. So, and the way he did it, the cold, uh, calculated, you know, cold blooded way, I fear there might be more things to discover in the future about this guy. You know, if he if he's found guilty, another thing that that was interesting in the in the court case was because there's not many cases here in Colombia with foreigners who don't speak Spanish or may, or many cases of people who do not speak Spanish. There's really no official translator for the for in the court to translate English to Spanish. There are translators here in Colombia, but most time it's just to translate like a document or or other things. You know, very simple stuff, not very technical legal verbiage they need to translate and know and understand all that kind of stuff they don't there wasn't anybody to find so they got just a, anybody they could find a translator and that translator wasn't good enough and john actually requested a new translator and there's there was talk on youtube with the, with the lawyers here in colombia talking about how how the case could get annulled you know nullified you know take this thrown out because there was no translator actually the the defense attorney for john but uh, stepped down because he was getting his death threats uh he was getting death threats online and on his on his social media everything because obviously like i said the, the evidence is against the dude and here in colombia people are pissed off and these death threats might be empty or they might be legit because the people are furious here what happened so the guy came here he has meant he's mentally stable he did what he did and he thought he can get away with the crime and he didn't and i and, and if he's guilty i hope he pays the full price because that wasn't that was evil pure evil